Hello and welcome to the fourth concert in our virtual concert series. I'm Barbara Eifler and I'm the Chief Executive of Making Music. It has been an absolute delight um, working on these concerts with my colleagues, reviewing the submissions that you have sent us from all over the country in all kinds of musical styles and with all kinds of repertoire. I think tonight's concert is no exception, showcasing you the breadth of talent and enthusiasm for music in all communities um, of the UK. Um, I myself play Third Cornet in the Crystal Palace Progress Band, and by a happy coincidence, um, we are featured in this concert. So I'll draw your attention proudly to our floral dance coming up later tonight. Not just practicing the cornet, um, it's my Zoom singing lessons and even occasionally having a go at the piano that I used to play as a child. Uh, these are things that have helped me with the challenges of lockdown, as I believe they have um, for many of you. And uh, so I hope that music continues to play that helpful role in everybody's life. Enjoy tonight's concert and our first stop is Oxfordshire. Hi everyone, I'm Gareth from Barry Mail Voice Choir. We wanted to put together a short video to show how our choir community spent the lockdown period. The video shows our awesome key workers, our home workers, and how everybody else kept themselves in really good spirits during these tough times. We're very much a community and not being able to sing is tough. Therefore, we wanted to find different means of keeping in touch. These last few months, we've done various Zoom meetings, we've held quizzes, we've joined music and theory groups, and we've even found a way to sing, even if that has meant singing into our mobile phones or computer. We wanted to record and capture all of this. We really do hope you enjoy. We hope to be back soon. Stay safe, take care. Jochen Waur. Mm. 
I'm David Charlesworth, the chair of the Crystal Palace Band based in South East London. And it's my pleasure to introduce one of the most popular and most enduring of all pieces in the brass band repertoire, no less than the Floral Dance by Katie Moss. Our virtual performance pulls together players from our main Section 3 band and our Progress Band, which is our entry level training band for players of all ages and abilities. And we have another ensemble for total beginners. In these COVID-19 times, we felt it right to invite all members of the Crystal Palace Band's family to take part in our attempts at Zoom practices and recordings. Our first attempt at a Zoom practice, right at the beginning, was a total disaster. As one member put it, it takes real skill to take a very well-known hymn tune and make it completely and utterly unrecognisable. But we are learning, and with the provision of backing tracks and click tracks, our efforts have been improving no end. Not least, I think, due to the track mixing skills of our members Bob and Ben. So we hope you enjoy our virtual performance. It's not perfect, but we share it with you in the spirit with which it was made, which is both for fun and for inclusiveness. And finally, uh, you might just notice the CEO of Making Music playing Third Cornet somewhere in the background. So please enjoy our performance of The Floral Dance. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi, I'd like to introduce the Wiltshire Saxophone Choir. Um, I'm the musical director and there are 12 of us. We get together once a month for an afternoon to play uh, as much of, of uh, repertoire, original repertoire arrangements, have lots of fun. We do a couple of concerts a year. But obviously during this time of lockdown, we haven't been able to meet. And I had the idea that it might be something uh, a, a project for us to play together might be something that would encourage us to practice. Obviously not everyone's able or available to play, but seven of us got together to perform. Very different to playing together. We haven't got section, section members to play in tune or time with. We have to listen to a backing track and then it's all got to be put together and that's quite a technical challenge. We have, as well as this performance we're going to play for you now, we also have another project in the pipeline. Every year we play a concert with a choir, a local village, and end the concert with a joint piece. And so we've decided to recreate a piece we did a couple of years ago. And so there'll be seven of us from the choir playing, plus up to a dozen choir members uh, putting together the project. But the piece we're going to play for you now is, I think, rather appropriate for these times. It's from the Disney Jungle Book. It's the Bare Necessities. <laughs> Hello, we are Jubilate Ladies Choir from Pinner in Middlesex. We usually meet on a Tuesday, and we still do, but now it's via Zoom. We'll often start by learning something new, and then we'll have a break and come back and sing a couple of rousing choruses of something that sets us all off buzzing. Some of us even stay online afterwards, have a drink and a giggle, and something we call the afterglow. We're performing a piece that really sums up the spirit of our choir. It's lively and positive, a little bit cheeky, and really has a feeling that echoes what we're going through right now. For us, singing together is a really positive and uplifting experience and brings us great strength, even when we're not together. So, this is us, Jubilate, singing together wherever we go from Gypsy in an arrangement by Jay Althouse. On the piano, it's Simon Hester, and we're conducted by Sarah Stroh. Sure as a star, wherever we are is together. 
but sure as a star, wherever we are is together. Wherever I go, I know she goes. Wherever I go, I know she goes. No fits, no fights, no feuds, and no egos. Amigos together. Show.
Making music together is something that we love doing as musicians, but it's not just something we do, it's part of who we are. So during this lockdown period, we've all been missing so much making music together. As an orchestra, we've been coming together on Thursday evenings to just get together and have a virtual coffee break. And many of our players were coming back in having played the Clap for Carers and Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So we thought, We'd love to do something together and that this was a way that we could do this. We could thank our carers and hopefully also raise some money for Blackpool Food Bank. We were very lucky in our orchestra because we have a composer in residence who's a fantastic musician called Ed, who knows the orchestra really well and he was delighted to come up with a special arrangement of somewhere over the rainbow for the orchestra. We were also so fortunate um, that Ed, alongside his colleague and friend Claire, who's the principal clarinet in our orchestra, and Chris, who also plays percussion with us, own their own professional production company, Ten Forward, and they kindly offered to produce the entire thing, the audio and the video, and as you can see, we are absolutely blown away with the quality of the production they made.
Well, I hope you agree that was another cracking concert. I hope it moved you. I hope it brought a smile to your face. And I hope you'll come again. We've got another four concerts in this series. The next one is on the 21st of July at 7pm. So join us then. It is also not too late if you have made a lockdown recording or if you're planning to do one, you can submit it and be featured in one of the future concerts. I hope to see you again soon, either on one of these occasions or via Zoom or possibly even in person in the autumn. Bye bye.